What's up good people? Welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I am David Ochola and this is Wardrobe Chronicles. On this channel we get to talk about style, good grooming and good manners and that's great content that you don't want to miss out on. So I'd suggest that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any other video that I will be posting. I post weekly videos and guys, I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers by July. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and turn on the notifications bell, just like I said. Thank you so much for doing that. I trust that you have. That said, let's jump into today's video. Let's do that right after this intro. So this is part two of answering your Instagram questions. So Glenn Magadi asked me a very interesting question. What color is a mirror? Um, mirror, mirror on the wall. I'm kidding. Um, I don't know, white or silver? But I think it's white. I think it's white. White in your shine, sana. Siko sure. Anyway, the next question comes from Tabi Sika, MD, Daktari. Um, boxers or briefs? Uh, if I had to choose between those two, I'd say boxers because they're more comfortable. But if I had a third option, I'd take boxer briefs. Boxer briefs are really nice because they hold everything together. And I, in my opinion, they're more comfortable than uh, briefs. Maneno ya masamosa to watch a restaurant. The next question, huh, this is an interesting one. Thongs or boxer... Ish. Thongs or boxer shorts? Okay, first of all, I didn't even know boxer shorts existed for ladies. But now that I do, I'm not too sure which one is more comfortable. I'd say, first of all, go for comfort and the outfit you're wearing, depending on the outfit. There's outfits that you will wear that will look funny with boxer shorts. I would suggest you settle for the latter. And there's outfits that would look funny if you wore it with thongs. Yeah, so that's my answer to the question. It depends on what you're wearing, I think. The next question, uh, Adiambo Okumu asks me, do you still remember me? Of course I do. I, I do. Uh, and what cologne are you using and why? Since quarantine, I've not really been using a cologne. First of all, colognes are really expensive. But before, before you even judge me like that, it's not that I'm not using anything. I'm just not using colognes. Um, what I'm using, especially during this quarantine period, let me just show you guys, is this one. It's it's just a deal or something, yeah? It's, it's a deal by Nivea. It's really nice. It's, I don't know how to explain this, but it smells sweet in a masculine way. It's a very interesting one, yeah? And for those of you who are trying to say, man, you don't use your cologne during Corona, you can use something like a Dio, because really you're at home, yeah? It will save you a lot of money, especially if you buy expensive colognes. I think Dio's are the way to go, especially during this period, as opposed to a cologne, because colognes are expensive. And if you're going to just wear your cologne to chill around the house, <coughs> not worth it. But if I was still using a cologne, this would be my definite go-to. Um, let me just show it to you guys. Uh huh. Okay. This. I got this as a gift a few years ago, and I really, really love it. It's, it's a very interesting scent. And yeah, if I had all the money in the world, one of the things I would buy is this. Um, here's how it looks. Dolce and Gabbana have released another one that has cinnamon. I'm not too sure how good it is, but if I was to use any cologne for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And I really like it because it's masculine and it smells it smells really, really nice. Shidani Pesa. Pesa no Shida. It's very expensive. Um, I won't say how much before some of you guys attack me for receiving such a gift. Yeah. Next question, Ray, Ray Doubt, Ray Doubt, Ray Doubt, I don't know, this name, Ray Doubt asks, what are your goals for 2020? Very nice question. Um, my goals for 2020, first of all, is to get a stable job that will allow me to use my journalism skill set consistently and effectively, yeah? So, guys, if you know someone who needs a voiceover artist, like, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, if you know someone who needs a voiceover artist or a journalist or an intern, I'd really, really appreciate um, that. Yeah, so that's one of my goals. I'd like to 
be able to also grow this channel to around 5k subscribers and above like 5k is a minimum i'm going for especially now that people are home i think more of you guys are watching these videos and i'd like to grow this into a whole thing that i can use and i can be able to do full-time eventually that's a whole goal with this channel i want to make this channel my full-time job so my goals for 2020 are those two major things to be able to grow this channel and to be able to use my journalism career effectively but when it comes to physically i'm trying to just keep fit and of course put on a little more muscle perhaps i don't know uh 90 kg would be nice motivate muscle <laughs> what a perfect segue really <laughs> motivate muscle asks if you had all the money in the world what would you buy? <sighs> if I had all the money in the world, what would I buy? That's a very interesting question. I'd, I think I'd need to sit down and think about it. But if money could buy happiness, I'd buy happiness for a lifetime if if that answers that question second chronicles asked a question when did you know your girlfriend was the one <laughs> asking for a friend law <laughs> when did i know she was the one um i don't know every day just shows me um who she is and that she's the one because it's a consistent learning experience and the more you get to know a person the the more content you feel about the decision you've made so when did i know it's not at a particular point it's every single day if that makes sense like it's something that i am consistently reassured about yeah i hope that answers that question for your friend second chronicles slavin komboka asks uh, what is your opinion on women's fashion in 2020 well uh, if I was being honest, if I answer this question from the top of my head, I really don't have an opinion on women's fashion uh, in 2020 or even, I don't know, just in general. But what I'd say is the classics always work. Yeah, There's, there's classic pieces that transcend throughout time. Because here's the thing about women's fashion, and this is my opinion on women's fashion. Actually, <laughs> I have an opinion, yeah? Women's fashion usually changes so fast and so quickly. So it's like something that was stylish last year might probably not be stylish in six months because that's how women's fashion is meant to to be because ladies buy more yeah but i'd say there's certain pieces that if you buy you can wear throughout time yeah for example black heels have always been in style depending on the style of the heel of course but say black pointed heels have always been in style for instance or pumps as some people call them so i'd say invest in I don't know, classic pieces that can transcend throughout time that you will be able to wear without looking like you're behind trends and then maybe buy other trendy items later on as you build up your wardrobe. I hope that answers your question. A real Kevin James asked, yeah, would you rather give someone style advice for a date or advise them to Netflix and chill? I would definitely give them style advice for a date any day, every day. And here's why. Uh, of course, you get the chance to dress up uh, when you're meeting the person so you can make an impression, especially if it's the first or second time or third time you guys are meeting up or if it's someone you're really into or someone you want to build up something serious with. I think it's your chance to get to know them. It's your chance to get to make an impression. It's also a chance for you to just get to be known by them, yeah? So it gives you a better chance of bonding with that person if you're out on a date vis-a-vis -vis Netflix and chill or a movie where you guys won't really get to talk or interact so yeah definitely give someone style advice for a date and on that note if you're wondering what you should wear for first date be sure to check out my instagram i usually have some fire outfits over there that you will like and that you can even try out and if you like what you see be sure to give me a follow i post outfits very often and that brings me to the end of today's video i hope you liked this video if you did be sure to drop a like down below and comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate your feedback and it helps me create more content for you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to share it with a friend of yours. If you have not watched part one of this video, be sure to do that. I will have it linked in the description box below for you guys to enjoy. Thank you so much for the questions. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.